Welcome back to Might Be Television, everyone. I'm here with Jane. Uh, about to catch your charm, Jane. So let's fire through these. Uh, when you're in the back of a taxi or uh, Uber, do you A, speak to the driver, or B, just go on your phone and stay quiet, Jane? Talk to the driver. Do you? Yeah. If you don't, do you feel like you're being rude? Um, no, it depends, because obviously if I'm tired, I probably wouldn't speak to him, but yeah. on the whole, I do ask him how his day is. Yeah. If you were a taxi driver, would you, and the person was silent, would you ever strike up a conversation? Probably not. Yeah, I know. Just respect the fact that they're yeah. being quiet. Because ultimately, they're your client, aren't they? Yeah. So yeah. you have to go with what the client wants. Yeah. Uh, let's fly through these then. Do you use self-service checkouts, or do you go to the man or woman behind the counter, Jane? Self-service. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's saying that. Everyone's saying that. Is that to avoid just an unnecessary conversation? It can be, yes. Right. I'm not going to lie. Sometimes I don't feel <laughs> like I need... Do you just stick that on your bag or something? Okay. Uh, yeah, no, sometimes I'm not in the mood. I think a lot of people will feel that way. Yes. Uh, do you think dreams mean anything, Jane? Yes, I can think they can do. But I don't know... I don't think they mean what they what you dream. Do you not? No, I think there's an alternative meaning yeah. to them. I'm getting a lot of people say that they wake up and Google their dreams. Would you oh, ever don't do, do that? that? No. No. Or, or I've got some people saying the warning, trying to warn us. It's our subconscious warning us. I'm not sure about that either. No. Sorry. Right. That's, that's <laughs> just being honest. Yeah, just be honest. Uh, have you ever seen a ghost with any sort of spooky encounters? No, but I have woken up fi thinking that I felt a presence but it wasn't a scary presence it was just that it felt like somebody else was there but I didn't see anything yeah What's but you... my dad says he's seen a ghost please tell a story Joe. just when he was younger yeah he used to work in uh, he used to live in a, a kind of a manor house because his, his mum and, and dad used to work in the garden as a secretary and he says that he saw a ghost did he did, I, mean, I don't know that's what he says I wasn't there so is it a story that he tells like around Christmas table or he just tells people no, he, 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 he has told it repeatedly throughout <laughs> throughout my uh, existence <laughs> and when you felt this presence was yes. you was you alone at the time yes but yeah you know so in, in your opinion you don't you, you wouldn't go as far as say it's a ghost but you just felt something i felt a presence yeah almost like a guardian angel kind of oh was it thing well, did it do you connect it to the dream that you had that night no all right let's leave it there Jane. but it's <laughs> but it is interesting though i like asking people about these a lot okay. everyone's pretty much got a story okay. uh, have you ever stayed in a tent or a caravan i have how, what was the experience like, Jane? Um, I stayed in a static caravan two yeah. weekends ago. Did you? Where Quite, was that? Um, Abbasock. One of my friends has had a family caravan there for 70 years, so we nice. went there. Yeah. Uh, camping, though, I mean, that's going to be a hell of a long time ago. Yeah. I heard a girl say that when she thinks about static caravans, it's like a bit boring, but I mean, you can laugh in it all. There's things hey, to do. We were there with three girlfriends and it was, it was good fun. Was it? Yeah. Uh, Favourite condiment? If you had a plate of chips in front of you, you can only put one thing on, what would you put on? Mayonnaise. Yeah, mayo. <laughs> uh, are you a Hellman's girl or does it matter? Heinz? No, I don't, I don't really mind. Okay. I'm not fussy. Uh, best hangover cure? Um, activated charcoal. <laughs> Is that a real thing? <laughs> Is it, please tell yeah. them, I have no idea. Activated charcoal, <laughs> look it up. <laughs> look it up, all right. You already were sure, look it up, guys. Uh, do you ask people to take their shoes off when they come to your house? Not anymore, but I always used to and I do get anxious if people don't. Do you? Yeah. But you don't go as far to challenge them anymore? No, not unless I can see that the shoes are dirty. <laughs> or it's wet outside, then I would say, so, can yeah. you just please take them off? Yeah, that makes sense. What's your Greg's order, Jane? Are you a big Greg's girl? No. Simple as that? Yeah, I don't, I, I don't, I haven't been to Greg's for years. I wouldn't even know what they sell. Really? What do you, when you're out and about, do you tend to stop anywhere, Tesco Express, a pret a manger or do you just bring your own stuff? Um, I would probably bring my own stuff. Don't give you money to these big corporations, Jane. Uh, do you take the phone with you when you go to the toilet? No. Why would you do that? A lot of people do. Why? They, they're watching movies and they, they don't want to pause it, so they take it to the toilet. But isn't there a danger of you like dropping it or put it falling down the toilet? Yeah, there is always that danger. I'll pass the message on when I ask yeah. them on that next. <laughs> yeah. uh, does it bother you when someone asks you for directions and you tell them and they don't say thanks? No. Do you, do you get a lot of that? No, not often. All right, Jane asked to go, but Jane, thanks for stopping. <laughs> it was brief, but there we go. Thanks. Leave a thumbs up. Thanks, Jane. <laughs>